Hello all, topic for today's video is Mining Multidimensional Association. So we'll try to understand the different dimensions that an association can have. Okay, so let us quickly go inside the first standard one that is your single dimensional. Okay, so here in front of us we have this rule. We have seen this rule earlier while we had calculated support and confidence. Okay, so this is your association rule in Boolean format. So that's why I call Boolean association rule. And here if you see, you will find that there is this bias. Bias is called predicate. So there is one single predicate. Okay, so X buys a digital camera implies that X also buys HP printer. That's the rule. And because there is occurrence of only one predicate, it is called single dimensional or intra dimensional. As it contains only single predicate, which is buys in this case with multiple occurrence. So it is occurring more than once, twice here. Okay, so that is your single dimensional. The next category is multiple, di the multidimensional. And we call it multidimensional because there will be more than one predicate. So here look at this example. Age is in this range and occupation is in this range. So more than two attributes, all right, implies that buys laptop. All right, so here count the number of predicates, age, occupation and buys, multiple, more than one. Hence, it is called multi-dimensional association rule. Okay, let's quickly go to the next kind. So, here also we have multiple predicates, but we see that one predicate is repeating. So, whenever we have uh, repeating predicates, okay, with repeated predicates, it is called hybrid dimensional association rule. And when a predicate doesn't repeat, like in this case, it is called multi-dimensional and when a predicate re repeats, okay, multiple occurrence as well as, um, uh, then it is called hybrid. Hybrid is the term, dimensional association rules, okay. So, three types. Now, this, another slide I have where I have more examples of the three types. Let's quickly go through. Single dimensional, what do we know about single dimensional? That there is only one predicate. So, here it is, by is by. So, only one predicate, that's why single. In the next one multiple dimensional rule there are more number of predicates or these predicates are also called dimensions okay then because there are uh, more than one dimensional predicate is called inter dimension so here it is and the predicates are not repeating that is why no repeated predicates and in the third kind okay hybrid dimension there is repetition of the predicates and that is why it is called hybrid dimension so single multi and hybrid Okay, these are the different dim uh, dimensions and in the, uh, in, the, in the rule we have different attributes as we as we've seen age occupation all that that attributes may be of two types categorical or numerical all right so now we'll see the different types and different approaches with which you can treat the attributes all right so categorical attributes they also call nominal attributes why because they their values are some names of things all right so category meaning name of things whereas quantitative attributes are as the name indicates quantity which is your numeric all right so different types of attributes we have so here example is age income price we know that in these attributes will only allow numeric values okay so such attributes are called quantitative attributes uh, so those are the different types of attributes now we'll see techniques for mining these multidimensional association rules okay so basically two approaches there of how we can treat quantitative attributes so let us quickly go in the first one so here what happens in the first approach quantitative attributes are discretized using predefined concept hierarchy so here you will come across attributes which will have values like in this range okay fixed range right so here we call it static discretization of quantitative attributes it's static doesn't change it's fixed in the rule it will be fixed and here is where our next approach will differ it will no longer be static so here is you see quantitative attribute are discretized or clustered into bins there also it is not uh, no longer a static range but it is called now bins okay values are clustered into bins based on the distribution of the data and it will totally depend on the how data is distributed okay so it is not fixed 
it is not fixed it will depend on the distribution and because it is depending on that not fixed not uh, predefined it is called dynamic quantitative association rule okay so those are the two different approaches now let us quickly go now to see how the rules are written what is the terminology that we use all right so in multi-dimensional association rule mining we uh, do mining to search our frequent patterns so here we call it when you follow this uh, boolean format we call it frequent predicate sets okay so okay so here we have this uh, <coughs> variable k k predicate set okay we call the rule as the predicate set k okay k is your predicate how many predicates we have so k predicate set is a set containing k conjunctive predicates we've already seen predicates okay here one two three so three predicates so three conjunctive predicates for instance let's give an example the set of predicates here we have age occupation buys they form one rule and this rule is called three predicate set that is how we define it okay three predicate set and to the notation used for the items so this is the rule and we refer to the set of frequent k predicate set as lk lk will have the set of frequent k predicate set that is how we define an association rule okay thank you